Before I make the video, please watch this video. Alright, so that's the video. Um, just, it really, it gets me to where I am. Um, I drive harder, I work harder. And those who has to experience and draw it. Now, basically, he's coming from the hood. He's coming from, like, the worst of the worst living conditions. And he wants to live out of poverty and doesn't want to go back to the poverty or live in that sort of stuff. And that... That is something that I've experienced when I was broke and thought I had a secure job, but turns out I was making less than, well, 500 and then dropped down to 300 per week. I started to say to myself, I came from um, a welfare, so used to getting on study which is you get paid to go to study. So you get like 600 per fortnight, 300 per week. Why am I working? I may as well go study. That was my mentality back then. And that was the way how it goes. I always enjoyed on getting the government money. Ever since I've worked, and there's so many moments that I wanted to give up. And after that, when I found a route when I start working, nowhere to find money. And I started to work even more and more and more until now I even want to war because I do not want to live in that sort of poverty line. All right, I'm not, not in the condition that social work goes through. But then this is the video that it, it really gets me and where other people are not because of the fact that um, those who are on the welfare, they stuck, they love to endure the welfare state. I know in America, you only get welfare in a, only a, a, a period of time. You can't get it to what it is now. This has become a welfare uh, relying on government. And it's like, this is the way we call it the dog bludger. They don't want to step out. Which... That video, just to sum up, you work even harder, you drive even harder. But unfortunately, countries like Australia and New Zealand or Canada does not want to work in that way. They enjoy the government. And that's why they destroy them outside and inside altogether.